Hey everybody, I am here today to set up finally my beautiful uh, vegan leather TN personal size from Cadenetta Notebooks and I am going to be doing most of the setup today. I mean it will be all in one video, so for you it will all be today. Uh, I'm still waiting on one more order to absolutely finalize the setup, but I just couldn't wait anymore to start actually using it. So I'm going to add that stuff in after the fact. and. Yeah, so I've got my my TN here and I've got my four inserts that it fits So one that came with it my ultimate success planner multi-purpose and uh, Two from Queen Mabel and Doris if you want to know where anything is that goes into this TN Or you want me here a little talk a little more about all of the different stuff then watch my TN haul Which I uploaded previously where I haul all of these items, but yeah, I'm gonna get right in with the setup so the first thing I'm doing here is covering the craft paper notebook that came with the TN in the black glitter paper. I tried cutting it to the right size with my paper cutter, but that actually ended up being way more difficult. So you'll see for the next notebook I cover, I just glue it on and then cut around it with scissors. So that is the uh, blank insert. And then the next one is my ultimate success planner multi-purpose insert, and I'm covering it with this gold foil constellation wrapping paper. And I'm kind of trimming it and then cutting around it with the scissors and rounding the corners with my corner rounder. I'm just gonna slow down a little bit here. I'm popping those inserts in and putting a clip to hold my page. And then I'm taking my clear vinyl insert and I'm going to put these two greeting cards that I have, uh, it kind of adds my, to make this insert. And the first one is this uh, Galaxy thing. I think it's a Hubble Space Telescope picture actually. And I'm putting that in just continuously trimming it until I have it to be the right size and putting that as my first side and I'm covering the back of it with this thick galaxy washi because I just thought that that would be I didn't have a, a different paper that I wanted to use and I thought this would kind of be a good look and I actually do really love how it turned out it's one of my one of my favorites is this uh, vinyl dashboard and then I am using some of my Wendy Prince die cuts just getting those how I like them and then gluing them down. And that's the first half of my of my dashboard. And then I'm taking this moon card and cutting that down. And then I'm just doing exactly the same. I'm trimming it to the right size, covering the back in the washi. And this time, instead of die cuts, I'm using some of my Wendy Prince stickers from the matching kit to decorate the back of that, or the inside rather, and then I'm putting that around my Ultimate Success Planner insert. Now I'm taking one of my Queen Mabel and Doris inserts because it has a black cover. I kind of just liked that as it was. I am toying with the idea, you'll see, of covering it with this poster that I got, and I just decided that I hated it. I didn't like how it looked. The poster was actually like really bad quality. And in the end, I ended up not using it at all. I just decided it was it was a wash. So I, oh, I actually got all the way of putting it on. Yeah, no, but I really hated it. And I'm decorating the back with a few Wendy Prince stickers. And that full box, I'm going to fake attach. Obviously, it's a sticker, so it's attached. But I'm going to put some washi just to add a little foil, a little something, something. And then I'm taking my dashboard from My Pretty Week and I'm cutting off the cover of a notebook that I have here. Just trimming it to a rectangle and attaching it to the inside of that insert with some of my gold foil washi. And then I'm going to take just some of my uh, Wendy Prince die cuts to continue decorating that uh, insert. And oh yeah, and I'm, I'm adding some more gold foil washi and rounding the corners of that pulling in some of my Wendy Prince stickers, more die cuts, just really decorating this insert. I actually didn't like love, I didn't feel like it matched as well as some of my other ones, which is why I'm using kind of a lot of die cuts and stickers, but I come back to this later and switch it up a little bit. And I think you missed me covering that with glitter paper. Yeah, so I took off the, uh, the poster and, and swapped it out with glitter paper. Since I had already put glue on it, I had to put something there, so I swapped it with the glitter paper. Now I'm using washi and Wendy Prince stickers to de decorate this insert, as well as the moon from the card that was like the same moon card that was just um, on the back there. And I just wrote Happy Mail in that quarter box there, because that's what this insert is, is a Happy Mail tracker. And then I'm decorating the back 
with more of the glitter, black glitter paper. As well as a die cut just for a little bit of interest. I really loved those die cuts. And I'm just popping that insert in and then I'm taking this black glitter one from the front and adding some die cuts to that as well, now that I had that idea, as well as a full box sticker to the back. And then I'm taking this gold foil uh, sticker of my name that I have and putting that on the clear dashboard. Now I'm making my tabs. So I'm just putting my foil, hollow foil labels onto my tabs, putting them in the correct place. And then just to make sure that they stayed put, I am going to secure those with little strips of washi, but I guess I'm doing that later. And I just put that little star clip in the front and now I'm disassembling this necklace that I got and I put my charm on the front I, and now I'm toying with the idea of what to do with the moon part of the necklace. I ended up just sticking it on a paper clip and sticking it with the star there. And then I am taking my pen and putting it in the pen loop as well as my e-glitter clip in the back. And I am toying with putting some die cuts, but I end up not doing that. Now I'm taking this charm and I am hot gluing it to a paper clip and covering the black and gla black glitter paper, the back and black glitter paper and making my little DIY clip and then adding my vellum clip into the top as well. And now I'm adding my side charm to the side there and now I'm figuring out where I want all my vellums to go. They actually are the wrong size, I realized in the haul. So I am trimming it down and I end up just trimming it absolutely forever because I really don't want to cut the pattern. In the end though, I do actually have to trim a bit of the pattern off as I realize later on when I try and close it and it won't close around that piece. And then the piece here, I end up using a different one than I want to because I can cut pretty far in without cutting the pattern to make it the right size. And then I'm just flipping that back dashboard the other way around because I realized I liked the what I had inside better so I just made that the outside and now I am trimming down a piece of the vellum to go in this back pocket here I end up rounding the corner that's kind of sticking out as well and then putting a bit of the gold foil uh, wrapping paper and I use I'm cutting that to the same size and putting that in the front pocket and I do the same around the corner of both of those and then I take a little bit more of the wrapping paper to put in that pocket there as kind of a background again with rounded corners for that e-clip and then I am toying with the idea of putting some vellum in the front there but I had the vellum right next to it so I figured I didn't actually need to do that and I just let the star and moon clip chill out in the front pocket there and then again, I realized as I closed, tried to close it, that I did have to trim that one more time. And here's the final flip through. I really hope you enjoyed this setup. I'll do a more detailed flip through in a separate video if you want, but thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.